Hi, it's Jenny with Jenny's Wreath Boutique, and in this video, we're going to be making a gorgeous fall wreath, and this wreath is going to have a kit available until they are sold out. Last time I made the kits, they sold out in a day, and this is going to be the last kit for fall that I make this year, and I'm hoping to have some for Christmas too. So let's get into this gorgeous wreath. The first thing you're going to need is a 14 inch grapevine. That's what I'm going to use. You can use a larger size if you're making this for yourself. This will make about a 22 inch size total. So it's a good size wreath for your front door. We're also going to need hot glue and hot glue gun. My favorite wire cutters. These are all listed under tools in the description so you can easily find those tools that I use with every single wreath. The materials you're going to need for this wreath or you can just get the kit are this gorgeous mixed laurel bush. It's got these fun little twigs. It's beautiful color. Some red berries. They look like mini rose hips. They're so cute. And I have this, it's called a Ramosa leaf spray. And all of these things are from my wholesalers. That's why I'm going to offer a kit. Look at that vibrant yellow and it just offers a different texture leaf, which I love. And then I have two different colors of these laurel leaf stems. Aren't they gorgeous? We have the orange and the yellow and it kind of ties off the yellow here. So this is just a beautiful, very fall like wreath. If you're excited to make this, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that yet. I've already trimmed up my grapevine. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my laurel leaf stems. I'm going to gather all of those and separate them by color. And just so you know, sometimes the leaves can fall out. If that happens, there'll be a little nub. Can you see that little nub right there? And then your leaf has a little hole in the bottom. Just add a little bit of glue. And this happens even with the best supplies, so it's always good to check. They mostly stay in, but every now and then you have one that comes out. So now that I have these divided, and like I said, all these are from my wholesale companies, so I don't have a materials list for you for this one. That's why I'm offering a kit. So when you cut it in half, you'll have one like this that has one strong stem and then the other one has two smaller stems. So I'm just going to do that with all of them and separate them into piles. I'm going to start with four sets of stems. If I need more, I'll do that. But I think we're only going to need four stems. So now I'm doing the same thing with the, it's like a mustard yellow. Doing the same thing with these stems. And if you're interested, I do have a cheat sheet of all my favorite suppliers, both wholesale and retail linked in the description. Yes, I do get these wholesale, but if you have a wholesale license, you can totally get them too. So I have a link for that and it's free. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by putting these all the way around the wreath in layers. So I'm going to just start with my gold as the first layer. And I like to do one layer all the way around because that way everything is even. And I'm not halfway through the wreath or three quarters of the way through the wreath and realize I don't have enough product. That would be terrible. If you notice one of your leaves isn't perfect, like this one, looks like it has a chunk out of it. I just cut, I recut the stem and no one would know that that wasn't a perfect leaf. Maybe I should do one more. So I'm doing the long piece on the outside and then the shorter ones more on the inside for this yellow. It doesn't really matter. And I'm gluing the stem long on the long side and I'm putting it along the grain of the grapevine so the stems are not poking out the back. See how nice and clean that is? And I am going to do five stems of each color now that I've gone around. And this is a pretty large 14 inch grapevine. It's probably more like 15. So you might not need that many for whatever grapevine you have. But I'm going to do five. Okay. 
and sometimes with paper wrapped things like this has a paper layer wrapped you can also dab a little bit of glue up by the top so everything stays in which will be helpful for the longevity of your wreath so there we have our first layer of greenery or I guess it's not green foliage we're going to do the same thing except we're going to do it with the next color so I'm going to do one on the inside one on the outside just every other so these will go in between the yellow and then we're going to be doing every other just like we did before so the two piece and then the one and don't worry we have lots of other things to put in so it will be nice and full I love these the the shape of them is so nice and fluffy so just putting these in gives it a really nice full look which I love sometimes just having the right materials makes wreath making so much easier and by sometimes I mean all the time so I feel that those are a little loose so I'm just gonna add a dab of glue on the top just to hold everything in place And if you have leaves that are turned backwards and you want more to turn forward, you can literally just twist them on the stem. I do that all the time. Yeah. But the back of these leaves are just yellow, so it looks fine anyway. So I'm going to put two of these in the same section because we will run out of space if I don't. And then this one will finish it off. Okay. So our last two things are this and this. This is the laurel leaves, basically the same, just another color to add some more depth, richness, and interest. So I'm going to do these last because I'm going to mix in this other color. I'm probably going to cut a lot of these individually. So if you get the kit, these will probably just be cut in half like, like this, or maybe cut into thirds so I can fit it in the box easily. So all you will have to do is just separate. You could leave them, but then you'd only have three sections. So now I'm going to separate these. See how there's like a section with two. There's a section with two and then one. So I'm going to separate those. So I have a nice little stem and then little sections. So I can incorporate these throughout the wreath easier. So there's sections with one and sections with two. That's all I'm doing. And since I'm just using one, a little bit goes a long way. And I'm just going to add these throughout the wreath and incorporate the leaves. So it really just fills in nicely. I love the added texture that these bring. So pretty. Ooh, I love it. And remember to use these sparingly because we don't have as many. This is one of the more expensive items that's just so high quality. And that's one thing I like to do is use the most expensive item more sparingly, but it really adds that beautiful texture. That way you can keep your costs down a little bit. 
but still have a beautiful wreath. So pretty. See how I'm incorporating it into the rest of the wreath? It looks so good. Like it was meant to be there. Okay. So we have the yellow, and now all we have is this one left. And what I'm going to do this has one of these so what i'm going to do i'm going to save these for the end you don't have to use them i think they're kind of a fun way to add a little texture and interest so i'm going to cut this into three pieces and we're just going to use that for some texture throughout the wreath at the end and for this one we're just going to cut individual picks so that everything spreads evenly throughout so some of them will come apart and you can just wrap the bendy part around the stem and then we'll glue it of course when it goes into the wreath. So I'm cutting them up so that we have different picks. So this one and this helps incorporate the berries throughout the wreath better if we have them all separated. And I'm just separating them by berry. Like this could be two individual pieces but I'm going to keep it as one. It'll just make everything go by faster, but these will be separated because there's different berries in each of those. And I want the berries to go all the way around the wreath, spread out nicely. So now we're just going to incorporate this into the wreath. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm probably gonna stick these in between every piece of the yellow leaves. Although they blend in so well, it's hard to tell where they begin and end, but just space it out evenly so you don't have to take anything out and redo it. It's not pretty. Ooh. And make sure you're gluing up the stem so everything stays together. Looking so good. So now I'm just going to add these around the wreath. I'm going to put them in the middle and then just three around. And that just gives it a nice rustic, natural look. And I like using all the pieces if I can. And like I said, if you're not into the twiggy look, you can totally leave these out. But I like them. because I like my wreaths to look as natural as possible. And then I like to just, you know, curve it around. There. So cute. And then to hang, you can either hang it straight from the grapevine or you can add some jute twine. That's what I like to do. First of all, look at the back. Looks gorgeous. There's one piece that might be 
maybe a couple pieces I could cut. But other than that, it looks great. And then this one looks like it could use extra glue right there. It didn't get great contact. Anyway, so I'm going to see where it hangs best by just holding it up, looking back at it. Remember, you can always fluff and adjust things. The best spot is right here. So I am just going to stick my twine through there. You can use some needle nose pliers if you like. Sometimes that helps. I just usually can stick mine through without any extra help though. And then I just make a nice loop. All right, and here it is. What do you think? Isn't it beautiful? I just love this bright fall foliage. It looks so good. And just so you know, I'm going to show all the up close details slowly after I'm done talking here. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you want the kit and it's still available, it will be linked in the description below. And also don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that yet. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.